Hello everyone. I want to talk about something and I don't know how to do with my life. And so I've not been making much things for videos this week. I, I had a little work to do, like um, a wolf drawing, okay? A friend asking me, asking me for a drawing. It's not the first time I draw like an animal or a monster. Okay, as a commission, but he's gonna pay me this time, hopefully. Uh, so I'm waiting for the payment today, so... Anyway, uh, I haven't been playing much. I've been building a map for Roblox and stuff, but... I keep getting interrupted every time I want to do something. And if you hear some noises in the background, it's uh, at the moment my mom. Last week, I have to tell you, last week, on last Wednesday, we, we went to the hospital, okay? Me and my sister were with her for like 15 fucking hours on the hospital. Because, um, well, when I woke up that morning, my mom was calling for me. She was in the bathroom, okay, sit down on the toilet. And she had like two two towel, uh, bath towels, okay, full of blood, full of fucking blood coming out from one of her veins on the, um, on the leg, okay, she has, she has a lot of varicose veins, which is, which is awful, and she was like, it was like exploding, and blood everywhere, I had blood on my feet, on my hands, and a third towel, okay, so, um, she kind of had a seizure, so I... This thing happens to her, like, from 30 months to 30 months. It, it's rare, but happened before. She, but she, she never felt really bad. But she took medication to lower down her blood pressure, like, uh, in the middle of the night. And she didn't eat anything. That's why she was kind of having some sort of seizure and almost fainting. So I called the... Uh, I called the urgencies and we went with her to the hospital uh, and like she took a few hours to recover they, they gave her uh, some stuff okay so and she ate so she was tired of being there we went there to like around 8 a.m. and we got out uh, after 11 p.m. It, uh, the, the service there is awful and I told her to go rest and she's a really stubborn person okay she doesn't take care of herself she's been on holidays okay uh, tomorrow is her last day but she's been at home and it's been hell okay my mom makes my life a complete hell well she doesn't understand anything I say she, nothing okay and I worry about her, but she's so stubborn, so I let her do her stuff. I kind of help here at home doing stuff, but she's crazy about cleaning things, okay? Even if they are clean, okay? She's paranoid, and she's right now doing stuff. She doesn't stop. Next day, she, after the hospital, told her, you go rest, okay? I'll do stuff. Don't worry about anything, mom, okay? Just go resting, okay? I don't want to see you again on the hospital. But no, she went to cook something. She she went to cook uh, an apple pie and a pizza. And next day she was cooking again. She didn't let me, okay? So she was cooking and, and stuff. And then she started cleaning everything. And I told her, mom, I'll do that. No, she wants to do everything. And then, uh, well... She doesn't want to rest all the time. And I told her, but you're gonna go to the hospital again if you are behaving like this and don't eat on, right on time, okay? Because she, she takes medication, she needs to eat after that. And she takes uh, more time to eat because she wants to do everything first. And she keeps yelling at me, saying bad shit about me. And it's not my fault. I, I don't have... Um, luck with chops and I had a big fight with my sister in Sunday um in Monday I mean last Monday through the phone she wanted me to take care of a two year old girl that, that belongs to a friend okay because uh, that girl little girl uh, her parents work a lot and stuff but 
I mean, it's not my fault, okay? And um, it was during the entire August, but I have plans for the first week of August, okay? I'm not much time with my boyfriend. We are together for almost nine years, which is a lot of time, which is great. I have a severe depression, okay? I have a clinical depression, a really bad one. And, well, depressions are not, never good, but it really affects me and my digestive system and all that shit. I've not been feeling alright. I've not even been going out of home. Except when I'm with my boyfriend, we'll go for a walk or something. But besides of that, I don't want to get out of home. I don't feel well. And, um... And I had a seizure on Sunday. Again, it's all about the nervous system, okay? My brain cells, and it's all messed up. The doctors messed up with me in the past, giving me bad medication, okay? They, they kind of not guess what I need. And I went to the psychiatrist and stuff. I kind of quit. I kind of quit of it, but I have to go there on September again. But, well... They want to tell me that the issues, the issue is me, not others, okay? So the problem here, it's me of being in this crappy state, okay? Probably it will be, but not all of it. It's not my fault that bad things happen to anyone's lives or to my own life sometimes, okay? Of course, I have to take responsibility for things, but it's not my fault, Many of those things. And those things depress me. And people say that I'm really negative about things. Well, I have a reason for it, okay? And... Yeah. And I have a few hobbies. Like, uh, basically, YouTube videos, okay? And gaming and stuff. Because uh, my mind is distracted with those things. And... Um, my mom sometimes stops of my behavior and wants to see what I have on my computer and uh, what I've been doing around here. She's afraid of me, uh, like doing something crazy, like joining ISIS or something like that, which is never gonna happen, okay? I've just turned 29 years old yesterday and she keeps thinking that I'm 12. It's not, it's not that. And I had a fight with my sister, I told her that, well, it's not a really big deal to take care of, of a child, but it's not my child, and it's like two years old, and I told her that it's not because I never took care of a child, okay, I don't have kids, I don't want to have kids right now, so it's not that, it's just I'm highly nervous, okay, at this moment, I've been really nervous, and not feeling well, and and my mom keeps yelling at me, okay, we are, we get along well or we fight, okay, it's been for years, this crap, and I like her, but I, I just can't deal with this anymore, and I really don't know, and I feel empty, and I see the subscribers I lost, these uh, latest months and I only gained like 18 subscribers last month okay so 18 is not that much okay and I see that probably there's something wrong that I, I should not been doing on my channel or I need to improve or change the content I have no idea but you see it's not good when we are under 2,000 subscribers and you, we uploaded more than 600 videos, okay, in about two years. There's something that is not right. And, well, I keep thinking about these things. And I don't know, okay, but I, I want to keep doing stuff for, for the channel, you know. I... I... I I feel like I'm a piece of shit sometimes, but <sighs> how can I help others if I don't even help myself, right? Uh... 
can look that I'm I'm feeling fine, but I'm not okay. I'm really sad. Just that. I don't feel the will to do anything for me anymore. Now I to take more time even to take care of my appearance, like, um, you know, taking care of my eyebrows or I don't have a unibrow, so I don't have to t really care much about it. But I, I like to like uh, to do the things and paint my nails. And, I'm like taking more time to do that stuff, okay? I take care of my hygiene really frequently during the day, of course. I, I'm like kind of compulsive. If I start to be hot, I don't want to sweat. So I go and run to the bathroom. And yesterday, I don't know how many times I washed myself after uh, taking out the trash, okay? A few times. Uh, so we had like uh, cleaning a few things here at home. And my mom, but my mom wants to do everything. So I I went a few times to the trash outside on the street to, you know, when I came back, I started to feel really uh, overeating. So I had to wash myself a bunch of times and my mom was yelling at me for that. And I was really nervous. I, I can stand hot weather and stuff. And uh, I don't even know, I get paranoid with such non-important things, you know. And people tell me to calm down and just telling to calm down, okay? But it's easier said than done. And, and when I calm down, when I'm calm for a good time, I tend to accumulate things and then explode. Okay. And why I had to dismiss from my latest job is that I I had a lot of patience for the shit I was passing through there, me and my co-workers, okay? Because of the shitty boss I had. And I had to explode and tell him, and tell him everything. And he wanted me to work for more three days, otherwise you wouldn't pay me. But if you wouldn't pay me, I'll go to the tribunal, okay? To the court, uh, the, the job court or, or something like that. Uh, I don't know that I mean English exactly, but I didn't go there anyway. I was really low paid, so I'm tired of working for almost for free in mostly jobs I've been. Except for one, one that it was a summer job. I was selling tickets and I was really well paid for what it was. And it was like two kilometers from my home. So I, I went every day, I, I took a walk there and it was really good for me, but it was kind of a stressful time in like during August because many people on the waiting line and stuff, uh, I was kind of, uh, yeah. So it was a few years ago anyway. And yeah, I don't know how to solve my my issues right now. Okay, uh, but I'm gonna try to keep doing my stuff. I just wish I had the will and uh, the, and be positive, uh, have hope for good things to happen. It's taking a lot of time. I just get nervous. I'm I'm almost thirty years old and I'm still doing nothing. You know. And yeah, you can call me lazy, a lazy fucker. It's probably what I am, but I'm depressed and I've been having a lot of thoughts in my head I shouldn't have. It's not the first or the tenth time it happens, but I'm sorry I had to say this. I want I don't want anyone to feel sad for me or sorry. Okay, this channel is for fun, not for making others depressed, but it's good to talk, you know. At least that. Thanks for watching and I'm sorry about this crap. Bye bye.